I thought I'd pop on. No, if I keep looking that way, it's because my screen's that way. And um, it's my first video to you guys, showing myself and not just my hands. Um, and I thought it'd be good just to come on and kind of say hi. Um, kind of introduce myself a little bit more because you kind of put a face to the hands, I guess. Um, YouTube is really hard, let's face it. Um, I'm trying to get used to looking at a camera, talking to a camera, doing all those things that are just completely out of the norm for me. Um, I usually do lives on our Facebook pages and our social media, but actually doing it um, on here is pretty difficult because uh, you kind of have to come out of your comfort zone. So anybody that's doing this, I totally feel for you because I'm really feeling nervous about doing it. But you know what? I'm very much about one, winging it, two, being honest, and three, being creative. So that's my main comfort zone. So hopefully I can talk you through some of the things we've been doing at Fiddlesticks and that you can get a kind of a feel for who we are and our personality. So at the moment, we have quite a few things that are happening. We have our current crochet along, which is our cherry bake. Well, sorry, you can see me looking to the thing. I can't help myself. I have to check if it's okay. <laughs> so kind of, kind of, I... I'm not giving you the side eye, I promise. Um, so this is our Cherry Bakewell um, blanket, which is my own design, um, that we have quite a few people following along. We're on chapter three currently. Um, chapter four will be coming out shortly for you to follow as well. So obviously, if this if you're watching this a year later, it won't make any sense. But right now, on what day is it? The 2nd of July, 2023. This is what's currently happening on our blog. And all you need to do is follow the links in our subscription, um, sorry, in our description below. And you can find all the links to follow this along. Now we're using Hayfield bonus um, for this make and we have all that on our website so you can have a look. I've done it in another colourway as well. So this is the one you'll see on the video, which is this one here. So this is a bit more barbified. And to be honest, we've made quite a few changes from the original, which is what you've just seen um, for the pattern. And it's working out really, really well. And at the moment, this is my current make, which is a hexagon cardigan. Um, I don't know if you've ever made a hexagon cardigan. It's not as hard as it sounds. You just need six sides. So, you know, as long as you have six sides, you can make it into this. So it just folds up. It's quite of a, a strange one to begin with, but you can just fold it up like so. And that gives you one half of your arm. So what I've been doing is I've been measuring it against myself like so, just to give me the body part. I know that I'm going to have to widen the back out. I'm going to have to create a border. Um, and at the moment, I'm thinking about um, doing something a little bit different with the arm to make it more summery and more vented. So I'm going to do a bit of lace work, I think. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so that's that bit. Is there anything else I can show you? Now, look, if there's anything on our videos that you think, actually, I'd love to learn this, um, I'd like to learn that, I'd like to learn, you know, whatever, you can feel free to comment below and we're more than happy to um, put some videos together to show you. So this is another cardigan that I've made. Um, this was following a YouTube video. I cannot remember who um, the video is by, but I'll put it in the link below. This was a brilliant make. Honestly, I really enjoyed this make. Um, so this is another hexagon cardigan. Let me pull out a little bit. I don't want to be too far away from the camera. Um, so there you go, that one. Let me just unwind my headphones because this is driving me nuts. Um, yeah, it's another nice, easy make. I haven't put any buttons on it because I basically like the fact that it was more of a jacket um, than anything. And it looks really great with jeans and a white top because you've got so many different colours and I'm really pleased with the colourway. So that, that works really, really well. Um, we've got other workshops that I'll be cropping up as well because we don't just do crochet. We do arts, we do weaving, we do all sorts um, you probably see from the back of my workshop here. This is my office space. So this is my little studio right here with you guys. Um, with my multi, this is my rainbow mic. I love my rainbow mic. Um, I've got all my polymer clay bits behind me, all here, so that you can see. I have all these little bits and gadgets right there, and all those bits there. And then I have more things to there and there. And then I was a photographer as well. So hopefully we can get some editing. Maybe do some Lightroom classes. Um, and do some natural landscapes. There's lots more that are coming. So if it is that you're on this video right now, 
watching me talk nonsense and you'd like to see something specific, I'm asking for your help. Let me know what it is so you can help direct us and how we then channel this channel into something a little bit more, well, custom for you really. Um, if you're from the US and you're listening to my accent and you're probably thinking, what on earth? Um, I am from the West Midlands. <laughs> so any of our local customers will probably be laughing right now. Um, I'm from the West Midlands. We're not far from Wolverhampton. We're kind of in between Wolverhampton and Birmingham. So not Birmingham, Birmingham, <laughs> um, the original Birmingham. Um, basically where if you've watched the Peaky Blinders, kind of in that area, but we're more black country, not Brume. There's a slight difference. Um, nothing wrong with Brume. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I'm from the black country. And the reason why it's called the black country is because Queen Victoria, once upon a time, came through the black country and she saw all the dusty, dirty faces and said, oh, this country's a very black country. Um, they're very black, aren't they? And that was because of the dirt and the smog, because where we're from is very industrial. Now, if you've ever watched Lord of the Rings, it's also ba it's where it's based. Um, so, yeah, J.R. Tolkien, this is where he based a lot of his story, a lot of where he grew up was based in this area um, because of the industry. So it's kind of reflective of that industry. So, yeah, there's quite a lot of history here. We have um, where I'm from, Dudley Castle. We have Dudley, sorry, we have, a Dudley, we have a castle as well as a museum and a zoo in a very small area. But we're also on the on the board on the green belt which means we're basically near the country as well so we have a lot of um bridge north Beaudley, the river seven there's lots of places really um it is a pretty beautiful place to live like anywhere we have our good and our bad places here but um right outside my window i can see a lovely clear view to clear so there's lots of loveliness in lots of different ways so it is a nice area I, I love it i'm very much i love where i live and we have a little shop so this is my home studio my home office but we also have a little shop uh, where we have a coffee house and a craft shop all in one and we make freshly made cakes and i do celebration cakes um and all things like that. so we might have some videos again with piping and different stuff but again it all comes down to confidence and i'm sure that when you're watching YouTube videos, especially me, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and TikToks and this, that and the other, you see a lot of people are very confident behind the camera. And as much as I can yabble on, I don't like watching myself back. So a lot of what you'll see will be raw, raw edited. In other words, I'm not going to edit it too much because if I do, I won't be using it. That simple. So you will get what you say. So it comes as it is. Um, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to worry too much. Because if I do, yeah, I'll get hyper focused on it and it will be like, oh, no, that's not happening. So if you're like me and you get hyper focused and you feel quite, um, I wouldn't say I'm a perfectionist, but yeah, it's a bit, a bit nerve wracking. So I am putting myself out there. Um, yeah. Anyway, without further ado. So like I said, I'm working on a couple of projects and I'm hoping that you will join me on those projects. Um so that can show you the finished makes. Um, I've got a couple of other things I've been doing as well and hopefully get some more crochet blogs on the go and some creative blogs as well. So yeah, there you go. And for anybody who wants to learn anything from our, um, from our website, you, we have some programs that are being written as well so that you can join no matter where you are around the world. If you want to join our crochet course, you can. We can do it via Zoom. Um, we also have an online program as well. So you can do that um, that has 20 chapters with videos to help um, you learn crochet. And I do say um a lot, unfortunately. <laughs> That's my bit of a pause in my brain. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an insight to, to myself. Um, like I say, I've got um, a lot of background um, knowledge in photography, art, um, textiles and different things. I'm very creatively minded. So hopefully I can give you some of the things that I've struggled with, but I've found a solution to and help you to learn a little bit more. So there you go. I hope that all helps, my lovelies. Mm -hmm. So nerve wracking. Just be thankful you're watching it on the other side of this and you're not the one having to edit it. <laughs> right. Without further ado, see you later. <laughs>